Good morning, beautiful souls. Welcome to Divine Empowerment. My name is Joanne, and welcome to the Manifestation Series. Um, I just want to take a moment and thank everyone for liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing the videos. Um, I will be doing a drawing every 200 subscribers. Or I'm sorry, every, with every 100 subscribers. Um, so make sure you guys, uh, right below, contact me on my Facebook page, like it. Send me a message and let me know that you subscribed in case your privacy settings are set to private on your subscriptions. Um, we're halfway there to 200 subscribers. And I'll be doing a drawing for this beautiful Moldavite crystal. I have linked um, the Instagram, the artist, at the very bottom of the description. And also, too, uh, I've linked an article discussing the metaphysical properties of this beautiful crystal. All right, so I'm super excited. Um, yes, I did take off a week. Uh, <laughs> I have been talking about um, some things that I've been trying to manifest, and or I'm in manifestation, and the dissonance really hit me hard. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about that because sometimes um, it can be mistaken as, well, I'm subconsciously manifesting this experience, right? But to recognize true dissonance and understand just how rapidly you can shift your vibration, I'm going to share with you what happened to me. Okay, so I was walking home, and it was right at dusk. Of course, you know, I live on a, a yacht, and I'm at the Marriott Marina. And I cut through the convention center. Well, when I got to the very last, I usually take the elevators because the stairs, they're just so steep. I mean, they're just extremely intense. And there's like four stories. So, yeah, it's a lot of stairs. So, I usually take the elevator. Well, there's an, one elevator per story. And I get to the last elevator, and it was out of order. <laughs> so, what else am I going to do? I have to take the stairs. Otherwise, walk all the way back, go through all the other elevators, get to the other side, and then walk all the way around. I didn't think anything of it, um, but like I said, I've been experiencing quite a bit of dissonance in my um, reality, and because I'm a variable, uh, I'm an extreme variable person, so it shows up in all different, across my entire life, <laughs> but it's been a really long time since I've encountered physical dissonance within myself, so I get to the last step. And like I said, it was right at dusk, but it was before they light the stairs at night so people can see. But the lights weren't on yet. And I get to the very bottom, the very last step, and I suddenly, I'm like, um, I didn't see the very bottom step, okay? It looked like it was part of the sidewalk. So I just took a big step. Well, my left foot caught the step, twisted it around, fell on the ground and I was like oh my gosh <laughs> right it hurt to say the least so I get back to the boat and I'm like well it's probably just bruised no big deal you know I live on a boat okay you do not want a broken foot living on a boat so I waited a couple days well the swelling just continued to get worse and I was like hmm I guess it wouldn't hurt to go get an x-ray I mean chances are it's not broke because I'm walking on it. It hurt, but not to that extreme, or at least I didn't think it was to that extreme. So I went ahead and I went to the emergency room, got an x-ray. The doctor comes in and he's like, oh ma'am, you broke, you, you have an avulsion fracture and we're going to have to put a cast on you and you can't put any more weight on your foot. We'll, we'll try to find you some crutches. And I'm going, oh Lord wonder how long this is going to take to heal. He says, well, you need to go and see an um, orthopedic surgeon. Really? <laughs> he said that the bone, or actually the ligament, actually ripped the bone away. And I'm going, oh my God, that sounds awful, right? So 
of course, you know, I, at this point in time, I, I realize that this is definitely dissonance, you know, in my life. It's showing up for my manifestation. It's when you no longer resonate with your current vibration, but you're not quite a vibrational match for your manifestation. So I said, well, what would I tell my clients if they were in this situation? Keep going. Do not stop. Keep going with your manifestation even though yeah you're on crutches now you've got a cast on it just seems like the whole world's coming to an end it's like oh my gosh well I followed my advice and I kept going right I stayed positive and I was like you know what I'm just going to keep shifting my vibration and I'm just going to keep going I'm not going to stop now well um let's see that was on Wednesday so I heard it a week ago last, no, two weeks ago last Sunday, on a Sunday. So last Sunday was one week. I went to the emergency room in between those two Sundays on a Wednesday. And then I went to see the um, orthopedic surgeon on the following Tuesday. So it was right out a week and a half, around 10 days. So I'm like, oh, goodness. So I wake up that morning and I'm just like, envisioning what the doctor's going to tell me, you know, like, <laughs> this is just dissonance, this is not a permanent situation, all right, I can shift vibrationally out of this one, so, um, I get to the doctor's office, and so I'm sitting there waiting for him, and he comes in, and he has this big old grin on his face, right, and he's like, I'm about to give you the best news ever, and I went, well, I hope it's the good news I want to hear, and sure enough, I mean, he says, let's take a look at it. And he starts taking off the soft cast. He removed it all. And he's like, well, good news is you can walk on this. You don't need a cast. You don't need crutches. I was like, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. <laughs> he's like, go ahead, get up, try it out. See how it feels. I was like, well, it feels a little strange, but. He's like, yeah, yeah, that's this and this and this, and that's why it feels that way. And I was like, okay. He's like, you're good to go. <laughs> I was like, yes. I was so thrilled. So when you're manifesting, trust me, you'll know when your manifestation is about to show up in your reality when dissonance shows up. And like I said, I'm a variable manifester, so it shows up in all you know across my whole spectrum of my life whereas if you're consistent um vibrational shifter then it's going to show up in one major way in one area of your life anyway i just thought that would be kind of cool to share that um but this week we're going to be talking about another variable in the manifesting blueprint and again it's two opposite ends of the spectrum vibrational spectrum one side is instigative and one side is reactive. Okay, so this particular variable is all about how does our soul um, or how do we get inspired to manifest? Okay, so where do these pulse impulses come from? Now, if you're instigative, and I'm also instigative, extremely instigative. So we instigate vibrational change, okay? In other words, we like to shift vibrationally to see the reactions of other people in the world. So our inspiration comes from within. Now, um, there's a, a lot of... Uh, stubbornness that kind of goes along with that particular um, comparative and that is the fact that instigative um, manifestors have to be inspired from within <laughs> so if they have friends family saying look you know your your health is deteriorating you're you're running out of money you need to do something right well the instigative person no. They are waiting for their own inspiration. 
they're waiting for their own little like light bulb that says hey it's time to change this this isn't working or it's time to create something new into your life so yeah and I can so relate to this one because well because it's me but also too I can remember there's been times in my life where and and this is what happens a lot with instigative people is and it can go in either end of the spectrum right you know, let's say someone, you know, they get injured and they get sick and I mean, just everything's falling apart. Their life was together one second. Now it's not. And the instigative person will not create new circumstances unless they themselves inspire change, right? And I mean, to other people looking at them from the outside, it's like, wow, they just really went downhill really fast. You know, I mean, they were like the epitome of health and now they're sick. And, you know, it's just, it's so, they can be so stubborn, right? They can literally hold on to a situation until, you know, extreme dire situations, okay, where you know, it's do something or, you know, what else is, is going to happen? So sometimes they just have to follow the roller coaster down so they can come back up. It's just how they operate. And now also, too, an instigative person can be on the opposite end of the polarity and will say that their life is perfect. Why would they want to change anything? <laughs> and, you know, they have to come up with their own reasons for change for manifestation right they're not going to be like um you know take a look at a situation outside of themselves and be like oh wow i want to do that no they have to be inspired from within okay now the shadow side of that would be like um See, the shadow side of an instigative person is <clears throat> they'll get that little impulse, like change. That little, like, inspiration, right? Well, then they're like, well, I mean, that takes effort. And then i got to go through dissonance. And then, I, you know, what if I don't even want that to begin with? I mean, they, they can just, like, go back and forth, back and forth. And then they just make themselves busy. It's like... Well, my life is perfect. Why would I want to change? So that would be the shadow aspect. And you have to understand, as an instigative person, there's really no real reasons why they want to shift vibrationally. It's just a feeling. <laughs> so they're more attentive to how they feel. You know, like, am I feeling good? Am I feeling healthy? Do I feel good today? You know, I mean, they're all about, you know, feeling that need for change. And um, so, yeah, very interesting, right? Now, the other end of the spectrum, which is reactive, and it's not like traditional reactive, you know, like verbiage, but we, we're going to say reactive because their inspiration actually comes from the external, right? Right? They will actually, they find their inspiration <clears throat> by observing what is happening around them, okay? Now, um, reactive uh, manifestors, they can also like, they're, they're excellent at spotting opportunities. They can actually manifest their manifestations, okay? Because they're so aware and observant in what's going on in their environment and around them. Now, they can sometimes um, get bored, right? So a reactive person, like this would be considered the shadow aspect. A reactive person <clears throat> may be like, sorry about that. I'm a little thirsty. 
so they can get a little bored <clears throat> and you know if they see the opportunity then that means that they have to act on the opportunity so again they'll try to keep themselves busy um, running around going oh my gosh this has to be done oh my gosh this has to be done this has to be done and it's like really is the world going to end if it doesn't happen <laughs> And also, too, they can, especially when they get really bored and they're not consciously manifesting their reality, they will actually create drama, okay? They'll wait till the very last second, all right, to create new circumstances for themselves. And then they run around, they're like, oh my gosh, this has to be done right now. <laughs> and... um yeah, and I mean, it makes them feel important. It makes them feel like that, you know, because it becomes so dire emergency that, oh my gosh, I have to do something now. Only I can do it, you know. So, <clears throat> you know, when you're reactive, and also, too, they can get caught up in just repeating that cycle, that reactive cycle. Put it off, put it off, put it off. Dire need. Get it taken care of. Put it off, put it off, put it off. But the more you manifest consciously, okay, and you understand, especially from a reactive um, end of the spectrum, I mean, you can literally create opportunities for your manifestation. Um, I actually have my best friend. I'm pretty sure I haven't done her blueprint in a while especially since I moved but I want to say that she's reactive <laughs> you know she definitely gets into that whole like oh my gosh this has to be done it has to be done right now <laughs> so yeah I mean they are so good at spotting opportunities that it's like you know not only are they good at in finding the inspiration but they're also good at giving the reason why okay why there's a need to shift vibrationally and they're very good at bringing other people on board to help them co-create that manifestation all right souls um thank you again so much for uh, subscribing liking commenting sharing the videos and I'm super excited about this um, giveaway for the Multivite Crystal. All right. Um, just make sure you guys are contacting me on Facebook. Um, if you do have your settings on YouTube set to private for your subscriptions, that way I can add your name to the drawings. Because I will be doing a, a gift giveaway with every 100 subscribers. Happy Sunday. I mean, happy Monday. <laughs>